Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. Welcome back to Powerhouse. Whether you're building a new home or you're remodeling an existing home, a lot of us don't take the time to stop and think about the importance of siding on your house and how that can impact your home's energy efficiency. We're here at the RJ Center talking with Ralph Palmer about siding options. Ralph, there are lots of options. There are lots of options, but I think before we get into that, let's talk about the whole system itself. Okay, how there, does that there are work? two systems. Let's approach a new one first. A new home, the system you have your inside plaster or plaster board, the two before stud, hopefully and probably insulation within that wall system there, then an exterior board, and then siding on the outside. And rarely does siding add to the energy value. Brick, wood, even vinyl, those have very, very low abilities to produce insulation. Okay, let's talk about an old house. If I have a retrofit situation, how do I put siding? If you have a retrofit situation, one of the easiest things to do is, first of all, you don't have to remove the old siding. There's a product like this that we use as an underlayment, and this comes in sheets that are four foot tall, 50 foot long, and we literally wrap the house in this, and that flattens out the wall. It also has the ability to allow that moisture will not penetrate into the house, but moisture can escape from inside of the house, which is important, and it virtually cuts down all of the wind velocity that comes around the windows and the doors of a home and through the siding product. So that goes on and then following that then a person would take and apply the siding over this and you pick your color, your style that you want and you end up with a, uh, I'm, we'll talk about the use and care of it, but you end up with a surface here, a design surface that you like in terms of color and style. I see behind us there are lots of different uh, choices to choose from aesthetically. There's choices in color. Right. Choices in style. Choices in thickness that happens of the board because sometimes we see where it's, people want a very narrow board. Sometimes they want a very wide board. We want to look at the style of home you have. And what's kind of neat now with some of the computer process, we can take a home and we can show it in any of the finishes or any of the styles. So you can see your home with a new siding on it before you ever make the decision. Now if I'm don't necessarily care for any of these colors. Is it possible to get a color that I have my heart set on? Uh, one of our manufacturers will take and make siding with any paint chip color that's available. And another advantage to that is if you're putting an addition on a home or there's some damage to a home and you need some siding, they will color match the old siding exactly. So it's pretty neat. So if, if we get away from the aesthetics now and look at the construction of the, the siding that you choose. Let's say that I want vinyl siding. What are my options there as far as the energy efficiency? Well, like I said, in most siding products, this profile of this product gives very, very little insulation value. What a person might look at, at that would be to choose a product, which would be like this, which has in it a built-in insulation, okay? And this, when it's applied to the wall and the structure's up properly, and it's applied on the wall, it'll give an additional R4 value. And if it's over retro siding, uh, with the underlayment board, you end up with like an R5, additional R5 on a home. And that's a wise choice because that is what will lower your energy bill. Let's talk about the cost. Obviously, this must cost a little bit more compared to this. Siding is an interesting investment. And when you pay more, you will get more. And out of this, the insulation value you get will start to reduce those you know, the energy cost bills of your home. So like anything else with your home, you need to think long term. Think long term. Typically, I would believe when a home is resided, it probably is going to endure as long as you're going to live there. So it's a long-term decision. Okay. So the investment is correct. Now, because this has this foam backing on it, does this have other benefits as far as noise? If I live on a noisy street, <laughs> is that going to make a, a difference? That's a good observation. I know that this will quiet a home down a great deal. So if you do have a noisy street, and once this is put on, this whole system acts as much as a sound deadener can be and it will, it will inhibit a lot of that noise, street noise and outside noise from coming into the home. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. It's a, uh, it's a byproduct. It's not the energy, it's not the design, it's totally a byproduct that people enjoy. I have heard that vinyl siding, I don't have it myself, but I've heard that it is maintenance free. Maintenance is that free. true? Maintenance, well, it, it can be, and I think it's purported that way a lot of places. But I always suggest that at least once a year you get out the garden hose and a scrub brush and you clean the siding because there is dust, there are birds, and there are insects. And a person can keep the beauty. You can keep the beauty if you give it what I would call minimal maintenance. Great. Thanks so much for this information. It's always a joy talking to it's you, Ralph. It's always good. Thank you. 
Thanks so much. You stay with us. More Powerhouse coming up.